well hi guys welcome back again to my kitchen today I'm gonna to make you guys up guess what not my version of carrot cake the way I do it in my kitchen so if you don't want to see on me make my carrot cake in my kitchen come on and ride my boat let's go over the ingredients and what you're going to need for make up this thing now first of all you definitely need carrots you can either grate it or puree it it doesn't matter okay I have four eggs here I'm going to put pineapple in here this is a half a cup of chopped pineapple a half a cup of raisins a cup and a half of pure granulated sugar here four teaspoons of cinnamon powder one teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder you're gonna also need two teaspoons of vanilla and a cup and a half of pure cooking oil three cups of all-purpose flour so here you go guys I have three cups of all-purpose flour salt my cinnamon powder and my baking powder all in here at the same time let's make sure you combine everything together like so now we're going to do the wet ingredients the first thing you're going to do is put your eggs in and this is four eggs also going to go ahead and add our sugar and this is one and a half cup of pure granulated sugar and then we just go ahead and just beat this in we're going to mix this in until everything dissolves all right so i hope you guys are seeing this the next thing i'm going to do is add my cooking oil and this is one and a half cup of cooking oil so you put that in and just keep stirring now guys this is exactly what it should look like when you do finish mixing your oil and your egg and your sugar it's supposed to look like this almost like custard All right so now we're going to go ahead and combine this thing so here we have our dry ingredients and what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and add in the mixture to the dry ingredients and just start stirring everything together okay guys this is what it should look like when you add that to the two together it's supposed to look just like this not watery folding okay that's when you know you're doing the right thing it's not supposed to be watery now i'm going to go ahead and add two teaspoons of vanilla you add the vanilla and then you put your raisins in half a cup of raisins half a cup of pineapple I love to put pineapple into my carrot cake and of course you're gonna add the, the you know, carrots in and mix just give this a really good mix mix it for at least a good 10 minutes just mixing it because you want to get everything together I'm gonna to show you how I transfer this into my baking container. all right guys as you can see I have my baking pan ready now let's go over the baking pan make sure that you butter your baking pan really good if you can see a right around I put butter I use butter with mine because it comes out easier a lot of people use flour I use butter in the bottom of the baking pan I have my parchment paper in the bottom you can see right there that's my parchment paper you guys could see it so I put butter in the bottom of the pan put the parchment paper on top of that butter push it down and then butter the top of the parchment paper again just to make sure that the, when the cake is finished it come out way, way easy all right so now let's go ahead and pour in the mixture so we're going to go ahead 
and just pour that mixture in. I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to let this thing bake for a good hour. But in 45 minutes, I'm going to check it just to see where I'm going. And then it's probably going to need another like 15 minutes of baking and then it should be done. So after you put that in, you just want to give it a little shake. What you want though, if there's any bubble or anything, it's just going to even out. All right. See ya. So there you have it guys. It's all done. It came out so good. Nice and fluffy. Put some icing on there and that's going to kick it up a big old notch. All right, and as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! a good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it's done simmer a time for we eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes so this is and with your foundation full coverage you know like bam and last but not least the last thing i tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here let me show you what this baby look like it has a whole bunch of concealers i believe it's ten dollars for this palette